Kakodo or Kokodo Kart Racer. Three, two, one, go. From what I understand, this is just supposed to be kind of like a uh, Mario Kart clone, should we say? I don't know anything about the IP itself. Kokodo, maybe a cartoon for kids somewhere in the European area. Never saw any of it though. Weight must maybe affect uh, top speed, I guess. Or something like that. I guess I'll go with a basic character though. Let's go with Duggar. He looks good. Four cups, by the looks of things. We'll just start with the bronze pot. No real idea what to expect. Okay, weird bounce back mechanics. L button seems to use the power-ups. There's no jumping. At least from what I can tell. The card turns so stiff. Kind of difficult to get into the curves. Wait, I think there's a, like a drift button. Ours supposed to be maybe a handbrake. So maybe that helps with the cornering then. Let's see if we get to a corner where we need to use the handbrake. Still, the car's move is super stiff. Maybe if we just took one with better traction or something, it would have been easier. Now that there's no one ahead of us, it's a lot easier driving it, at least. Very Mario Kart-like. That's all I can say so far. Oop. Pretty hectic music from all I can say. We're first, of course. I guess the tracks also have a name. It would be good if they displayed it straight away, though. It did say it in the end, I guess. Not sure if... There's a possibility of getting a boost start. Because I can't hear myself revving up prior to the race beginning. Alright, we got missiles. That one hit. The jumps are very weird though, I have to say. It's just that the ground disappears, you don't see the jump at all. The ground just disappears from underneath. Uh, you do jump visually, just a little, I guess. But it is very, very weird. That's all I can say. The music's a little bit dark for a kid's game, I guess. Yeah, R is the handbrake and it helps you with the corners a tad bit, I guess. This is like Bowser's Castle music or something. And now with the hectic final lap music again. At least the bronze cop doesn't seem do so difficult, like we're pretty much half a track ahead of the other racers already. Maybe when we get to the final cups or something, it'll start to get a lot more difficult. This is supposed to be maybe an hour or two tops, I guess, if you beat it. So I guess if we do this fast enough, we're just going to go to the next game as well today. Sir Bear was the uh, track name here. I guess they could have been a little more imaginative with the backgrounds. Because the draw distance ain't that great, as you can see. <laughs> well, I can say this is a pretty... Should I say mediocre racer? Nah. I mean, 
there's definitely gonna be worse racing games for the system than this. This plays somewhat okay. Not even somewhat, but pretty okay. It's like yeah, the track here is a little bit more difficult already. I hate the bounce back mechanic when you hit walls. Then again, it does help you a little bit to get back on track. Alright, so we're second. I wish I had Holman missiles. There we go. No, that didn't hit. The collision detection is a little bit weird. We need to get ahead of this guy. I mean, we're still gonna win the cup, even if we don't get this track, but... It would be nice to get a clean win. And we would if we just didn't hit that first spot there. On both laps. Oop. When you get hit, you don't seem to slow down. You just, like, take the hit. Roll around a little. Yeah, we're definitely not winning this one. Whatever. Only second. Have to do a restart, right? Zaron. Trying to catch up on us. Alright, this might be the last track of this cup. Seeing as it is the fourth. Oop. Looks like you can also fall out of bounds in this one. Just try to not have that happen. What is this? That must have been a seeker. Yeah. So we do have homing items as well. Lots of cornering in this one. But the track ain't all that messy. Pretty easy to get it. Boop. There is also another Kokoro or Kakoro, whatever, however you say that, game for the system. It's called Kokoro Platform Jumper, I think. This one I actually have a card of. I got it not too long ago. In kind of like a bundle. But the Platform Jumper game I have no idea of. how it is going to be. Don't think I ever saw this in stores either. At least cannot remember seeing it. So hectic. Panic music. Oop. Zaran was not too far from us that time around. He's gotten better, it looks like. But even if we even if he was first, he would not have won because he's still six points behind. I guess the first race he did was shitty. And it also looks like it's more than four races per cup. I do not know how many races it is gonna be per cup. Also, I do not know whether or not the uh, tracks are gonna be different, or if it's just like a more difficult version of each racer. Like with bronze, silver, and was it gold and magic pot or something? In that case, I'm not sure how we're gonna play this. Maybe we just go straight to the magic cup or something. I guess we'll see when we start the next cup eventually. 
Uh, this track is a very weird. Well, it's a cornering. Cornering track, as you can see, and unfortunately, we aren't that good of cor cornerers. The card will not turn, even if I want it to. Right? It's like we're gonna have to use these to our advantage. Gonna have to drift all over this track. Are those ice skaters, I think? That guy, ice skaters. Alright, hit a wall. We can't keep letting him win because he'll catch up on us, definitely. Alright. Got past them, now just try to keep up top. Unfortunately, he does these corners a lot better than we do. There we go. Get kill with zero points so far. Doesn't seem to be going too well for him. We have unlocked Glaboom, another racer. Let's make a midway save. So that must have been the cup then, yeah. But uh... Do we get different cups though? Like different tracks if we try another pot. Uh... I cannot really tell if this is or is not the same track. Then again, we could go out of bounds. I'm not sure if we could do that in the first... First race of the cup. But I guess the enemies do look a little bit similar. Hmm. Then again, does it really hurt us if we do all the cups? If they take like 10 minutes each, 10 to 15 minutes each, that would make this like a hour long game, which is not too much, right? And we get to unlock all characters. I don't know. Let's just see. We do need to get a lot of points in the early goings of the cups. Because we did take a lot of second places in the last circuits. Which means the second player will catch up to us. Second racer, whatever. I do recall that the second track was Sir Bear. Not sure what this was, but if the second track is Cerebear, then we know that it's the same tracks all the way around. Of course, they might add more tracks for the harder cops, too. Because if the game only has five tracks, it's a little bit off, right? Glabuk. No, is it Glabuk? The same as this character? I'm not sure. Let's see. Actually, yeah, this is. It is the same track. You know, forget about that. Let's just try to go for... Let's ch first check if Magic Cup is the same. Golden Pot, I mean. Uh, this is different. This is definitely not the same track. That we just drove as the first one. That also makes me wonder if, or if not, the Ma Silver Cup also has different tracks than the first one. Anyway, let's try to go for this one right now. See if we can get all the way through, win this one. See if we see a lot of new tracks anyway. And if we can win this. I think I marked down the goal for this game to be able to beat, as in win, the championship. Which we already did in the Bronze Cup. 
for some games I have marked down just to like play through a season. I don't like sports games. I don't have to win a season, but I have to play through one. Very few though, most likely. I like the music in this one though. Final lap music still makes me laugh a little bit. I do think that they did not make a multiplayer for this game, which is kind of weird. You would think they would have coded that into it, but there was no option for a multiplayer race or anything like that. It kind of cuts out the whole idea of racing games, doesn't it? Especially kart racers. Usually the coup de gras or the main thing for these games is multiplayer races. The track name is still the same, but this was definitely a different track. So maybe they are different versions of the tracks then. It is the same places, but the tracks do change a little bit. Wonder if Magic Pod is kind of like a reverse run of the tracks then a mirror edition and this one also looks like you can easily drive out of bounds I have to watch out for that well it happens immediately it doesn't look like you take a large time penalty for going out of the track though because it just transports you back to the track immediately Without doing the Mario Kart thing of like Lakitu coming and fishing you out of the pit. So even if you do drop out, it doesn't look that terrible. Boink. Getting scared playing this. Someone's out to get me. Alright, looks like we've already caught up to the final racer. He doesn't seem to be doing too good. I actually recognize the character that was like Zoomer or Zonker or whatever his name was. Point Dexter character, anyway. Fucking frogs. Or as my wife would point out to me, most likely, they're toads! They are not frogs! Ooh. Let's not let anyone get ahead of us. There we go. Neuro, I think Neuro was the Poindexter character. Looks like they're evening out in the end right there. Turtleini is gonna be our biggest competition. Kinda sucks that you have to stop in the final spot in each race then you have to make your way through all the other characters looks like you can go through obstacles when you're doing this 
And you can hit the other characters too. That's good. Like a super shield. What is this? That was a new item. Who needs the Mario Kart Booster Pack DLC when they can just play Kokodo Kart Racer? I wonder if they're actually coming with a new set of tracks soon enough. So I do know they've released the first set of tracks and they were pretty nice to play, but I want more. I don't know the release dates of all the track packs, but... If that one released it like in the... was it the end of March, maybe? So I guess another one could come around summertime. If they're doing like quarterly... quarterly releases of the packs. Yeehaw! So Turtellini is still up there. Trying to challenge us. Alright, this one's changed it around a little bit too, I see. A lot of cornering in this one. Maybe not as bad as the other track, but still. Come on! Fucker! Shoot these mosquitoes at ya. Oh? That was nasty. Shocked me just as I was about to get to that one. There we go. Oop. That won't do. Yeah, you can see that the tracks are getting a little bit more difficult. You have to watch out for the edges a lot more. I think these actually go backwards as well. That's useful. I don't think the game has a blue shell in its arsenal. Or maybe that little girl that we got, maybe that was a blue shell. Then again, we were the first driver in that point, so... Maybe that's not the case. Shit, someone shot us again. Wonder what like the best character that you can unlock is gonna be. Maybe a gold golden cockado, who knows? I'm guessing the red character up front was Cockado anyway. He hasn't been in the races though. Hey, that's something. At least he's not in this cup, and he wasn't in the prior one either. Alright, this one might be a bitch because of all the corners there. It doesn't have the flower pattern this time around, but especially if there's going to be jumps and if we can jump <laughs> out of the borders and there's going to be wall stopping us from getting back in, that's going to be difficult. Let's see. 
Even if we lose this one, it's not going to be the end of the world, but we do need points. Let's just try to get a little bit of a layout of the track. Funny music, too. Shit. Did we explode? What the hell's going on in this game? Look at that. That's the lady. It's kind of like a fairy, I guess. Maybe it hits everyone, like, homing. Homing style. You do get it very... Very rarely, so it must be, like, a better item. Look at that. We jumped outside of the track. <laughs> okay. I wonder if we could have somehow, like, gone back to the start. Because there don't seem to be any checkpoints. I'm not sure how it detects... Uh, laps altogether. Like, does it have invisible checkpoints every here and there, or how does it work? Alright, let's not blow ourselves up this time. There we go. The music is somewhat good, I guess. Not a very racing type music, maybe, but... Common. That's where we jumped out of the track, I think, last time. We just disappeared out of bounds and couldn't, couldn't drop down. So we get back to the track. Come on. There's kind of like an interesting game coming up in a few games, I think. Next up is Pippa Funnel, which might not be that interesting for most people. I am kind of interested on it myself because it's more of a manager than a horse racing game, I think. But uh, coming up after that is, uh, was it Star Wars Flight of the Falcon? Which kind of intrigues me. Po Bong! We unlocked Po Bong the Ape. That's got to be like the Donkey Kong of this game. But yeah, kind of excited for, or intrigued at least, about Star Wars. Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. Let's go straight to the magic pot and see what this is. Might be just like a different track layout, at least how it looks right now, right now because uh, to me it doesn't seem like it's mirrored or anything. Hard to say though. I'm not 100% on that, but whatever. You don't get any sort of credits either, so I wonder if credits only come after you beat the magic pot or if it comes after you technically 100% the game and unlock all characters, if that's how it is. Also, it might be that a secret cup opens after you unlock all four special characters, as in beating all the other cups before winning them. One thing about the game, though, is that it does not seem to save your best track times or anything. That kind of sucks. Because there's nothing to beat unless you remember the track times yourself. So they could have made it a little bit better, at least. By adding some small features. Then again, I'm guessing not maybe the it's not maybe the track time aficionados who bought this game. Venusia. Not sure if Venusia is openable just yet. Like maybe she's one of the unlockable characters. Because I'm not sure if I saw her anywhere in the track select screen. We do have Kokodo in this tournament though. Because I did see his name there.
I'm not sure if the AI drives any better in the more difficult cups or not. It might also be just that the tracks change a little bit, the layout changes. We're just blazing onto victory here. Pretty easy track this one too. No really difficult turns or anything like that. And I think this character most likely has very good top speed as well because of the weight. Just dropped down immediately as I said that. On to victory. Let me set up my pillow behind my head. There we go. Venusia. Seems like our biggest competition here. Here she is. Weird ass looking squid head lady, I think. If it is a lady, who knows? Kakaro kind of seems like a very cheap cartoon to me anyway. I never really enjoyed computer-generated cartoons in any case. Hand-drawn was always the way to go for me. Maybe I'm a little bit old-fashioned in that way, but I just haven't seen that many good computer-generated, computer-animated series. Then again, nowadays most of them are anyway. Computer-drawn, generated, whatever. No more hand-drawn shit going around. I guess. Not that I really watch cartoons anyway. Outside of The Simpsons, maybe. First 10 seasons, anyway. The new Simpsons are just atrocious. I don't have any fun watching those, I guess. Not sure if anyone else has either. Just feels like to me that the series completely lost its touch after the first 10, 12 seasons, whatever. Yet they just keep going. So what makes this the magic pot? I've yet to see. Yet to understand. Oop. All right, Venusia, get out of our way. Don't hit the walls. We let her pass us so we can shoot her. Wait, can't we just shoot that backwards? If it doesn't hit the walls, that is.
Hoop. Just had to pause for a sec. I thought that the cat was moving around in her little bed on the table and it kind of looked like she might have fallen. Might have been about to fall off the edge, but she didn't. She cannot, cannot contain her excitement about the game. Snoring ever so slightly. Neither can I, as you can see. And here, talking so excitedly about the game. There we go. Couple of goals still, I think. Two or three tracks. This just seems like the first cop all over again. To me, anyway, because I kind of remember this track being like this in the first go around. A lot of cornering, anyway. Compared to the other cups. So what the hell is the magic cup then? Or maybe it's a randomizer thing. Who knows? Then again, I think the tracks have been pretty much what they were in the bronze cup. I don't know. Hard to say. Ooh, we got a triple speed thingy. Boost thingy. Speed thingy. Doesn't exactly work in this track though because it's all corners. There's hardly any spots where you get to use the speed boost properly anyway I hated this track the first go around and I still do just can't keep on track all we're gonna have to wish for is good pickups to win this well that helps Drive, my boy. Shit. I think we've yet to win a cup with full points, right? We've always been second every here and there. Not winning all of the tracks. And now Venus is ahead of us. And we get past her. Alright, if we can hit those mosquitoes on our ass, at least then we'll win. But these aren't homing ones, so you kind of have to aim them. Come on, let's get this. There we go. Barely won this time, I think. She was right on our ass. That wasn't Venusia, though. That was Baggy, apparently. Really? Anyway. And this seems like pretty much the first track of the game. Wait, is Magic Pot like all of the pots in one go? Could it be? I'm not too sure now. Let's just keep going. If that was the case, we should have just chosen the Magic Pot as the first cup anyway. I don't know. We'll just keep going and see how this goes. I'm just happy to be playing something other than Kingdom Hearts and struggling with its bosses. Progression in the challenge always helps. I kind of burned myself out a little bit with Kingdom Hearts. Even if it wasn't that long of a game. It was 20 hours, I think, about, but... Just a little bit too much grinding, and especially with losing that 4-hour progress, with losing the save game at one point. That definitely didn't help anything. Yeah. 
Yay! Yay! Mm hmm. It just keeps going. I kind of feel like it could be all other prior cops thrown into one. Which kind of sucks that we did not play through the silver silver cup. At least now we get to play through the tracks, of course, I guess. But at the same time, I'm definitely not going to go for the silver cup after we win this one. Which means we will not be unlocking at least one character. Then again, what the fuck? Should I just go for it? I don't even know. Not like the game's long. Not like we have to hurry anywhere. But then again, if I go to Pippa Funnel sooner enough, we could even finish that today. No idea how long it's gonna be. I have to check the requirements for beating the game too. I kind of feel like it's gonna be a little bit similar to horses though. Like just build the stables up to a certain standard. I do think someone has done even speedruns of the Pippa Funnel game. Because I saw some times on speedruns.com. And those were fast ass times, but that's because it's just like clickety clack. And he knows what to do. I have to think a little bit at least what I want to do in that one, I guess. Is the character we unlock from winning this cup I wonder maybe it's like the main villain of the series if the series even has villains I guess it should though doesn't every kid's cartoon have a villain I kind of wish they would have ported the classic DOS game, Wacky Wheels. Isn't it Wacky Wheels, right? To GBA. I don't think they ever did. There's like, there is Konami Kart Racer, which I was supposed to buy back in the day, but never did. At least we get to play that at some point. That must have a little bit more quality in, get in the gameplay than this one. Once again, not saying this is a shitty game by any means, but it is pretty plain. And it is lacking a lot of racing game features, such as leaderboards and times and whatnot. Co-op. Replayability in general. Most likely, Konami card racers have something like that at least. And the Konami characters, of course. I think, doesn't that one even have like Pyramid Head in it or something? As an unlockable. I kind of recall reading something like that. Kind of funny to put something like Pyramid Head into like a game mainly marketed towards kids anyway, like... They're gonna be thinking, oh, where's this character from? Then go and check online where the character is from. Kids getting their first taste of Silent Hill. Scaring the crap out of themselves, not understanding what they're seeing. A lot of cornering again in this one. Oop. It's 
it's a weird sound that it makes when you drop like a ice cube or one of those apples. Weird little sound bite. Oh, thank you for that. Is that like a colibri or something? Hummingbird? Looks like one of the pinatas out of Viva Pinata to me. Shit, someone shot. I guess it's like six more races to go. If it throws all the cups together. This one we haven't, well, we haven't driven any of these last four tracks. If it is like I think it is. Come on, fuckers. There's a long straight coming. We can use these there. Come on. Stop hitting the walls. Ah, we only had one? I thought we had three. What the hell? My imagination. Come on, mosquitoes. Kill him. Kill him. Everyone loves mosquitoes, right? Difficult cornering in this one. boy <laughs> quick question what the hell is this cockado kart racer i kind of like all i can say what i think what i suspect this to be is uh kokoro must have been like a kid's character cartoon character anyway from a tv series maybe around the mid 2000s or something i don't think we ever got kokoro back home here i mean if you're asking me what the hell this is then we definitely didn't get it Never heard of Kakado before, but this is Kakado Kart Racer, a PAL exclusive racing game for the GBA. It is what it is. So yeah, it is all cups thrown into one. 
So we still have five races to go, and that'll be the game. I don't think we're gonna be doing the Silver Cup, unfortunately. We're gonna keep, we're gonna miss that one unlockable character. But at least we get to play through what's supposed to be the most arduous and difficult cup of them all, the Magic Cup. Which just seems to put all three cups in one. So you get to play like an endurance cup of 15 races. Right now it looks like we won all of the previous races. So we could even get a full 150 points from this. Ain't that something. Not that the game most likely gives you anything. But still. We can say that we've mastered this game. Googling this burning question rewards me with rewards such as Buy Kakuro Magic Circus with a gun. What the fuck? Is it the same IP still? Maybe Kakuro took a turn for the worse after these games came out. And I still don't know how to pronounce the name correctly either. either. It's either, either Kokoto or Kakoto. Or Kokoto. Kakudo. Kakata. I don't know. How the fuck do you pr pronounce Kakoto? Kokoto kind of makes sense though, right? Kokoto. I don't know. Burning questions. Like said, burning questions. Yeah, there's many Kakuro games, and apparently the Magic Circus one comes with a gun attachment. That's somewhat of a Magic Circus right there. Kakuro with a Glock. Kakuro with a Beretta. Whatever. How's your weekend, Eif? How's it gonna be? Posta Kokoto Festival Bundle with Rifle. <laughs> Are you still doing Might and Magic? Most likely, yeah, because it seems to be like a long ass game. And listen to the terrifying music in this track. Like, this is Bowser's Castle or something. It's supposed to be a kid's game. Then again, I really don't know if it's supposed to be a kid's game anymore. If it comes with a rifle attachment in the later parts. From here to eternity, it would seem. Yeah, like if you're doing all the campaigns. But I think you're doing anyway. The game seems to take quite a lot of time. Gotta visit Granny at some point first though. Okay. How's she doing now? Has she gotten past the injuries from the fall? If there were any. I have to say I'm happy that I came up with putting a noise gate finally into the mic. I had to change the settings around a little bit, but putting a noise gate makes it easier for me to listen to all the music and whatnot that goes on in the games. Because GBA does have a lot of good tunes in the games and like I want to hear what I'm playing. But putting the noise gate in seems to make it a lot more easier for me to listen to what I'm doing. Let's me dive into the games a little bit deeper at least. Finish it, there we go. Still up top with three races to go. A 
just like if they sold this around Finland anyway, I'm pretty sure it went for 40 to 60 bucks. Which is the basic price for video games here anyway. And it's beginning to look to me like you can pretty much 100% the game in like maybe an hour, 20 minutes. If you want to unlock all the characters anyway. So, quite the bang for your buck, right? 60 bucks for 120 minutes of superior excitement with Kakado Kart Racer. It's kind of like listening to that water track from Sonic, the one that everyone seems to be so scared of. Almost as hectic. The one where you're running out of air, almost drowning. Seems like your life's about to end anytime soon. Next race, please. Second to last track. God damn it. These racers ain't got shit on me. I mean, they're not too far behind, though. Oh, come on. That was dirty. Cheap and nasty. I kind of wish that it would unlock something to you after you win the magic pot, like at least a mirrored thing for all the tracks. Hey, in a minute. Among Us Racing. Now that you look at this character, I guess you could like mistake it for the Among Us dweebs. Whatevers. How's it going in Himilis? I know you're super excited for Kakado Kart Racer and that's why you're here, right? Oh shit. Oh no. We have to win this. I can't let them get past me now. Get out of my way. So I want my full 150 points, right? 
There we go. Indeed. Has to be. Who would be here if they weren't here for Kakado Kart Racer? Alright, this is supposed to be pretty much the last track, I think. But let's just win this one. And be happy with what we did. I wonder if you could accident accidentally shoot yourself with your own projectiles. Like if you shoot one of those uh, mosquitoes, then use a speed boost and get ahead of them. And then eventually they end up hitting you in the back. Wouldn't that be possible? Sounds like it could. Are you serious? Game. Am I going the right way now or not? I think I am. I hope I am. <laughs> I mean, that can also happen in Mario Kart, though. That you accidentally don't make the jump all the way through. And uh, end up having to redo a part of the track. But that's... That's really sucky. Because now we have a lot to catch up to. If we still want to win this one. Then again, we're already... Well, we're third. We'll be second soon enough. And then just catch a projectile... That we can shoot that dude with. No, we're third right now. No, we are, we are second. What the hell? What's going on in this game? At least we caught up back to the front, but... I really, really don't want to... Not win this one right now. Not that it has any sort of an effect on the final placements. But if we won all... 14 tracks prior to this one. Then we definitely want to win this one as well. to get that full 150. Otherwise, I'll be devastated. Come on, Fat Fairy, get out of the way. I like his mustache, though. Last Laparuni. Let's do this. Right on our ass, though. Not anymore. Just have to watch out for these jumps so the same thing doesn't happen again. Oh, shit. Hey, oh, let's go. Hey, Quattari. Welcome. How's the weekend going? Shit. Come on, we're right about there. Just the fat fairies and we'll be crossing the finish line. Fuck you. No! Go, 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 go. Ah, luckily he was far, far behind. There we go. Magic pot with 150 points. We have unlocked Zaron. Look at the card he has. No, no, like, uh, credits or anything. You know what? What the single race? I guess it shows you, like, the tracks. Yeah, it shows you the tracks. You know what? I do want to find out who the last unlockable character is. And if we got this far, I guess we're just gonna do it. I'll try to use Zaron, see how he controls, and do the silver pot still. I mean, at the same time, we've only done this in medium difficulty. If you chose hard difficulty, maybe you could unlock something with that. We're not gonna find out though, unfortunately. But we are going to finish the silver cup still, so it's five races to go. Hopefully won't take too long, just to see who the last unlockable character will be. Otherwise, it's gonna haunt me in my dreams. Nice legally distinct Zeus they got there. Wouldn't want the ancient Greeks suing their company. Yeah, I mean, it is very Zeus-like, right? Zaron. The Zeus. I guess you have a point there.
As of late, I've been playing a ton of uh, Jurassic Park Evolution, because I got it from Humble Bundle with all the DLC, and this week I finally like beat the last DLC, I think. There's still the whole challenge mode to do if I wanted to do it, but I don't think I'm going to go for that. I just played through the main story, finished all the missions, and then did all the DLC. The Claire one, the Dr. Wu one, and the Return to Jurassic Park, which were all top-notch. Especially Return to Jurassic Park. That was cool, what with all the original voice actors. Well, almost all of the original voice actors. The live ones, I think. ones who still live. Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum, and uh, Laura Dern. So now I just have to buy Jurassic Park Evolution 2 at some point and play through that one. Not sure if that one has any DLC just yet, but most likely they're going to come up with some for it. And I wonder how different the game is going to be from the first one. Look at Zeus go here. Um, no, I'm Zaron, not Zeus. Fuck. Just drove into the river sticks right there, right? Definitely not the river sticks. What if Kokoro is supposed to be like a cultist game or something? Maybe they have a ton of creepy pasta about the game. Once you look deep enough into it. You can always always make more lore yourself, right? Just to make the game interesting. He is an imp. Zaran? Or Kokoro? Kokoro looks like an imp though. That could be. Kokoro, yeah, he does look like an imp. So as as we said, we're already getting all the Satanist influences of the game in, right? Like if you pit Kokoro against one of the imps from Doom, the Doom one has no chance of survival. They bow down to Kokoro. So devil worshiping is not out of the question, exactly. We're getting right down to the nitty and the gritty right now. The dark side of Kokodo, recruiting kids for Satanism. The devil worship and activities. Lay down in the arms of Zaren. Big Papa Wooly Pants coming your way. Well, duh. The Doom Imp don't have gun and rifle attachments. Exactly. Gun and rifle. So we got dual wielding Kokodo going up against Doom's shitty Imp. Who just shoots fireballs at, at you and tries to bite you. He has no chance against the imp that is Kakuto. <laughs> Virgin Doom imp against Chad Kakuto. Chad uh, Kakuto with the massive jawline. Sigma Kakuto. For some reason, I can only think of the burnt face man instance in this, like... Keep hold of your high-tech gaming system. I laugh at danger. <laughs> Come on, Zaron. Come on, Satan. Ah, Zaron. Zeus. What the fuck are you? Race for the finish. We have some devil worshipping to do. A 
such a difficult race, this. Maybe I should have tried it hard then. I don't know. Shiny. Shiny coming at ya. This one has a cool jungle tune. Like this one as well. Call him. He sleeps. But, but, but don't tell him I told you to write it. Should watch Burn Face Man at some point again. Call him. He sleeps. Man Spider. That's the character's name, right? And there's Taps Man. Who uses hot and cold. Or the combination of the two that he calls hold. We shall call you names until you bleed. Shit. Weird slow down there. go all right one more to go let's put this baby to bed so i think instead of like having names for the tracks themselves they're named after the characters because this place is called zaron something and there was glabook or glaboon whatever the first character's name was I thought they were like names of the worlds themselves, but apparently they're just named after the characters. Ooh. Come on. Come on, Zarin. This is your home world. Try to win this race. What are those fucking... Flying fairies with the mustache. They look like uh, Man Spider to me. At least from the face. Similar mustache. Maybe not as evil of an expression, but close enough. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm Zaron, your overlord. In my mind, they are Kim Jong-uns. That could be. He doesn't have a mustache, though. At least not that I know of. Last time I saw him, he didn't have a mustache. The mosquitoes sound like Peter Griffin. <laughs> Shit. Look at that, we were once again driving on thin air. Unbelievable programming by the Kakodo team. Alright, we have a lot of catching up to do. Try to get in there. I can barely see him in the distance. True, but he could grow one. Maybe he'll grow the best one you've ever seen. No one can grow a mustache. 
like Kim Jong Un. Trump, Trump could try, but even he could not do it. Oh shit! Come on! Oh fuck! He went through. He's gonna win it. No. Well, especially if I keep driving like this, he'll win it. We didn't get full points. Even Kim Jong is now stopping us. Zaren, you have been defeated. We were first? No? Didn't it say in the upper left that we were first, though? What the hell? This game. Ah, there's still one more race. What the hell? It has six races? Great coding. Yeah. Wonderful coding. Oh, yeah, what's... What is going on? Why is there six races? I thought there was only five in each. Or was it six? Maybe it was six. No, wait, it couldn't have been six. If we got 150 points... ...from, uh... ...the entire magic pot... ...then how the hell are we now doing six races all of a sudden? Whatever. We did choose the silver cup, right? Not the magic pot again. If it still continues after this course, then definitely we have accidentally chosen the wrong cup, in which case I'm just gonna call it there. But I think I, I, I'm fairly certain I selected the silver cup, right? But this is kind of looking like Laboon to me, though. As in the first race of each series. I don't know now. Do I? This is... It is Magic Pot. What the hell happened? Did I accidentally choose Mag Magic Pot again? Like, what the hell? I'm fairly certain that I chose the silver cup when I started out there. What the hell is going on? It could still be me. It most likely is me. I'm just wondering if the game somehow glitched out and turned it into the magic pot in like the middle of the series or something, but that must have just been me. Now I know that I chose the magic pot though. No, I mean, <laughs> I know that I chose the silver cup this time around. And I can check after the race, but god damn it, how stupid. With only myself to blame once again. But we get to enjoy even more of this wonderful title still. Maybe if I kept my eyes open in between the tracks, I could have seen that it says Magic Pot instead of Silver Cup. But because I'm just playing the game with my eyes closed, that was not possible. Look at that ending drift. 
Yeah, there we go, silver. Did I really fucking choose Magic Cup, though? I mean, Magic Pot. I'm not certain about that. I have to watch the VOD afterwards. Just to clarify to myself that I must have been an absolute twat and selected the wrong cup. And it was not the game's fault. At least we're getting our money's worth, right? We're unfortunately getting more than we paid for. Did order a couple of games from Tori once again. We'll order, just pay for them and hoping for them to come to me. I got uh, Sims 2 for the GBA, which I'm very excited for, to be honest, since Sims Busting Out is one of the best games for the uh, system, if you ask me. Very enjoyable. And the other one was The Legend of Spyro, a new beginning that we have already beaten in the challenge. But just to add it to my collection. Since I kind of want to have all the games that I've beaten as physical copies or digital copies, but like paid for digital digital copies, not just ROMs. Look at me, the sheep consumer. Couple of more to go, still says silver. Oh no, we're out of the track. How will we get back in? There we go. It looks like Laboon is in this cup too. Yet his devilry has no... No match for Zaran's devilry. Glaboon, the guy who looks like the dude from Among Us, like Inhimilis said. Pretty much think if we went straight away for the magic pot, the game would have been like 15 to 20 minutes long altogether. <laughs> 20 to 30 minutes, let's say that much. I think that's how long the game would have been. That's pretty much like the... Well, to be honest, the minimal beat requirement for the game would be to win the bronze cup. Because there's no ending, apparently, to the game. You just unlock characters when you win cups. So it's pretty much all the same which cup you end up taking. Unless you want to play through all the individual tracks themselves, in which case you would go for the magic pot and then play for about 30 minutes or so. Still says silver, two to go. Hey, Dangoyaba. I see you've, see you've uh, changed your nickname. 
Or is it a new account now? Because it's Dango, uh, Dango Yaba Yefu nowadays. Why not 100%? I mean, we're kind of like 100%ing this right now. Only thing that we're not 100%ing is the fact that we're not playing through the hard difficulty ones. Because I don't think anything changes. Even if you're playing on hard difficulty outside of the difficulty. But in my understanding, you do not under, like, unlock anything different. Even if you play with hard difficulty. Like we're now doing the silver cup. Which means we are 100% in the game since we've done all the other cups prior to this. When we finish this cup, we'll just unlock the last unlockable character. Same account, just added Yefu to the end. Ah, okay. So no changes to the accounts. How's the weekend going for you? How is it? Go Kakuro. Look at the top speed. Just blazing through this track. I wish the game had like a visible speedometer as well, so you could tell what is your top speed. And how high up can you get it? Alright, so this now is supposed to be the last track that we're gonna do. Zaran of the Silver Cup, which would make this Zaran 2, I think. This seems very Kingdom Hearts-like to me. Reminds me of, I think, Mount Olympus from Kingdom Hearts. With the music and the visuals. I can easily see Pegasus and Megara flying somewhere here. Maybe even Zeus. Come on, don't get stuck in the wall. Shoot. I'll read that in just a second. A long message. Maybe once we finally finish this cup. Why am I here? Because this. Osa termeistä on sellaisia, mitä en saa enkuksi. Rentoutunut, koska ei ole enää flunssaa kiusana. Ai, se oli kipeä. Oliko ihan korona? Eilen meni työharjoittelu ja näyttö kiitettävästi läpi. Onnittelut. Ensi viikko pitää vielä hengaa työpaikalla, mutta läpi menti. Hyvä, hyvä. Congratulations. Shit. Let's try to do this now. I don't need to win once again, but would be a nice cherry on top of the cake. We can get through these fucking corners. And Kim Jong un doesn't come and stop us once again. Kevät plussa vaan Hyvä kuulla, että ei korona. Aina parempi. Alright, so just get through this lap and we'll be done with this title finally. Not that like I've been going saying the same thing throughout the whole game. It's not a bad game, just pretty plain, pretty basic. Works as a card racer, but there's no real replayability here, I guess. Especially after you beat all cups on hard mode, I guess. Nothing to keep a track of the times, no mirror tracks or anything like that. No co-op, no multiplayer. Just a cash grab, pretty much. But who knows, maybe it was a labor of love for some. 
COVID is beaten. Hopefully soon enough for everyone, that is. All right, so who do we unlock? We unlocked Venusia. Venusia. And it is female, I think she is female. All right, as you can see, all racers unlocked. That's all we're gonna do with this game. Kakaro Kart Racer. 